Hey guys, so today is February 12th, 2015, aka the day I'm getting braces. So I normally don't do these types of like experience videos, but I thought it'd be cool to do like a braces experience video slash vlog. So that's what this is going to be. So I'm going to take a hold on my normal videos right now. And I'm not going to make this too long of an intro because I'm coming out with an update video soon. So we're about to leave to go to the orthodontist. Brace face! I love it! It's snowing guys, look how pretty! I feel like it's snowing in all my videos. Alright, so basically I'm going to kind of be showing you guys like my experience with braces and like um, how it feels. Like I'll just kind of tell you about my experience and everything so if any of you are getting braces you'll know what to expect and everything. So basically we went into an appointment on Tuesday, today's Thursday, and what they did then was they took pictures, they made molds and everything, which actually is not that bad. Like if you have an appointment to get like molds done or any of that stuff, it wasn't bad at all. Like they only have to keep the like the clay stuff in your mouth for like 30 seconds. So it wasn't bad at all. And they just do like the bottom row and then the top row row. Is that what you call teeth? So anyways. Um, they did that, and then they also put these little rubber bands. They put two down here, two down here, two up here, two up here. And that's just to space out your teeth so that they can get the braces on them. But you have to leave the rubber bands in for the full amount of time before you get your braces on. So a tip would be to make your appointment close to the day you get your braces so that you don't have to wear these rubber bands for like weeks. Um, originally my appointment was like, was it two weeks before I was going to get my braces or something so I would have had to leave these um, rubber bands in for two weeks but we rescheduled it to um, two days before I got my braces and that's so much better because these rubber bands are annoying and they're kind of sore at first and they hurt to eat a little bit like at least the first few days that's how it was for me so for me I'm only gonna have to keep my braces on for less than a year they said they actually talked about like I didn't really look into Invisalign because I know a lot of people are doing that now but they talked about they had these like clear plastic what do you call them clear tube things instead of like the metal braces but they said that those get discolored and they just don't they start to look nasty a little bit so I just decided to stick with the normal ones for now because I'm not going to be wearing them for that that long anyway I think I'm gonna do like either I think I'm gonna do like a blue or aqua color yeah, I think Joey's when he changed to some colors it looked horrible really so we should ask them I think right. like dark blue or black looks the best anyway you put red, it looks like you have a bloody mouth. <laughs> I also took some Motrin um, just before we left, so we'll see if that helps. People said, like I asked a lot of people, um, like how it went when they were getting theirs on, and they said it didn't necessarily hurt like as they were putting them on. It was more of afterward and eating and stuff, especially the second day I heard it's the worst for eating and everything. So I'm not that nervous about getting them on. To be honest, I'm kind of nervous about how they'll look and everything, of course, but no, no one said that they had like a traumatic experience with getting them on, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I just took Motrin and um, I have chapstick with me because people said that chapstick is good to have they said it'll probably take an hour and 45 minutes to get them on. hey guys so I just got done getting my braces on as you can see um, I went with blue which I will probably never do again um, it's just very overwhelming like although it is my school color so it doesn't look absolutely well it does look pretty horrendous but no but um, I've always wanted to try a color and I was gonna do white because I mean, people, like, I heard people say that you shouldn't do white, though, but my mom said she saw this girl, she got white, like, and she was in the waiting room, and it looked really good, it made her teeth look really white, which they probably do discolor after a while, but, like, maybe if you keep up with the brushing, and, like, look at what you eat and everything, so I think next time, which is the end of next month, so it's not too, too bad, um, I'll probably do white, or just something, like, like, a little more subtle, 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 <laughs> so... Anyways, as far as it went and everything, it like, it really didn't hurt at all. The worst part was probably when she accidentally slipped and stabbed me with a tool. And that wasn't that bad and I doubt your orthodontist is gonna do that, so don't worry. Did it hurt keeping your mouth open that long? Well, okay, so they put, they put like, so, they put something in your mouth that keeps it open. <laughs> Hi. Anyways, um, basically what they, you do is first, she took the rubber bands out, which wasn't bad at all. 
and then like the only really bad part about it is it feels like I kept thinking she was like chipping my tooth or something or she was about to like knock my tooth out like that's the only time I really got anxious they just tried to fit on these metal bands and that's not even that bad but honestly that's the worst part but it wasn't even that bad is when they put the met like the metal bands on like they put four on I believe um in the back and because they just have you bite a lot and it was just making weird noises and I didn't like it but it honestly wasn't that bad like if you're getting braces don't you don't have to worry about it then after that I really like dried my mouth out so make sure you bring chapstick with you I like the Nivea lip butter because this stuff like really hydrates your lips really fast because they're already feeling better or yeah these little Vaseline lip butter tubes those are really nice too so then what she did was she put like this thing in my mouth that separates my lips and she put like this thing like spraying out air I think and that's when she put all the braces on and like I, I felt like I was drugged or something because I got really tired all of a sudden. I just didn't even realize what she was doing because I didn't even feel anything. Like I didn't even know she was touching my teeth. So that's honestly not bad at all. And then she took that stuff out. I picked out this nasty color and then um, she put like the, the, the wires in which that's honestly not that bad. It's worse than like putting the braces on, but it's not that bad. And then she just like slipped the colors in, which that, that was probably one of my least favorite parts. But honestly, I wouldn't worry about it if you're getting them because it wasn't bad at all. Like it was so much better than I was expecting. So yeah, I'll have to show you what I got and everything. We're gonna go grab a bite to eat. We're getting some Thai food. We just got our salad and soup. And then we're gonna get some red and green curry. Oh, mom's dying over there. That's okay. a fast burn, that's a slow burn. Here's some hot red curly. Curly. <laughs> hot red curry. And then we have some green curry. Look at these little pyramids. So cool. Jasmine rice. Is that jasmine, jasmine tea? And our jasmine tea. And my braces. We're gonna be double over jasmineized. Mm, too much jasmine. Hey guys, so it's like about a little more than a week after I got my braces, but I thought I would just update you guys on them since I didn't really vlog anymore after that. So today I'm in a new room filming and we have this wonderful race car background. We actually had this background when we moved into this house um, and we never changed background. We had this wallpaper when we moved into this house and we never changed it, so good old racing stripes and cars. Pretty cool. But anyways, so I'm finally now starting to get used to my braces. It took a few days to get used to definitely like the look of them because at first, when I first got my braces off, I looked in the mirror and I totally freaked out. It looked like I had some big blue slushy and my teeth were all blue and I hated it. Like I was really hoping that I could just like go in and be like, could I like rechange the color like right now because I hate it but um you just definitely have to give it some time like especially when it comes like to the look of it and the feel of it and eating and everything it just takes time but I promise you it gets better it did not feel like it was gonna get better at first but it definitely does it took me like a long time to get used to eating right um again and like the soreness and everything to go away but like after I get shots and stuff it usually takes me like a week before my arm finally feels like it's not dying um which probably it's probably a problem I should like really look into that because I don't think that's right anyways um so as I was saying um it does take a while to get used to food like I'm finally now just being able to like bite in a sandwich so you just definitely want to like eat um, more softer things for the first few days or even like for me like I said it took like a week I still really can't eat pizza right the more you start to eat more harder things then the quicker you're gonna be able to um, adapt to that so all right so my braces they felt sore like my teeth literally felt like they all got pulled out like that sore feeling they felt like that and I like could not sleep the first night like that's how bad things are for me like when I like get um surgery or teeth pulled or like shots or stuff like I just like I experience like I can take the pain but it just it stays for a while and 
I don't know, it's it's really weird. But anyways, the first few days it's definitely hard, but you will get used to it if you are getting braces, I promise you. Just gotta remember that a lot of people get braces, so you're not the only one, and like a lot of people have experienced it too. So what you are experiencing is not like something like, you don't have to worry, oh my gosh, this is gonna last forever, because it doesn't. Like, I'm already used to them now. I forget that I wear them, and now I'm actually starting to like the look because I always have been self-conscious about my smile, so it's kind of like something my teeth can hide behind, which that's not a good way to kind of look at it, but it's true, so yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it does scare people when I like show my bottom teeth with my top teeth I just feel like it looks like too much like I went to my neighbor's house um for the first time after getting my braces the other day and they're like smile real big and I'm like <laughs> no it is scary I'm gonna show you what I got in the little braces bag that they got me this is really attractive like don't I just look so attractive I actually just got back from tennis so I'm like sweaty and yucky and my neck oh. looks really long for some reason so <laughs> Yay! Of course, they give you like um, a paper that kind of shows you, it's like a little pamphlet thing, that shows you like how to clean your teeth and stuff and I don't know, I looked at this probably once when I first got it. And then they also give you like a list of foods that you cannot eat and things to be careful with. Um, honestly, I don't know a whole lot of people who follow this list, like all my friends are like, I ah, don't do it. But you definitely do need to be careful. Um, this says every time a bracket breaks off or a band comes loose, you may add one more month to the length of your treatment. Which reminds me, I do not have any of the bands in the back, which I am actually really relieved about because I did not want those. So they're going to kind of see how it goes and if I need them later on, they will give them to me in like a next appointment or something. So yeah. Give me some special toothpaste thing that I'm supposed to put on overnight. Like you're not even supposed to rinse this off. Um, it's like a sodium fluoride thing. It's like a prescription toothpaste. Um, it's by Colgate. So yeah, they give you this just to uh, kind of show you in here. I'm not going to do real fancy editing, so I might as well just show you right here. Um, but yeah, they just tell you you're like basically going to brush like four times a day. Like they said, in the morning, like sometime in the afternoon, at night, and then this one after you brush at night so like four times but I normally do that anyway because I brush in the morning and then if I like usually go out in the afternoon so I'll want to brush before I leave and then before bed of course so it's nothing like real like serious or like new or anything. They also gave me a toothbrush of course. They gave me some wax to put over like my teeth if anything was like cutting or poking me but I honestly didn't have a lot of problems with that like the first few nights uh, I got like sores on my lips because my braces rubbed up against them or something but I did not use a whole lot of this like at all like as you can see it's pretty full. To give you this thing I really like this thing it's like a little brush that you can get in between the brackets and stuff and you can just like throw it in your purse or something or in your pocket or <laughs> whatever you use. Um, I actually really like this though because it's good to use after you eat. Like I'm like so worried like that after I eat there's gonna be like food stuck between every single brace and I'm just gonna smile and people are gonna be like. So <laughs> it's good to have this. This is what the little brush thing looks like. Alright so then the last thing that is in here I believe that they gave me. I kind of had to collect it all and put it back in this bag because obviously I've been using it for a week. Um, But they give you some floss. And then also like these little fo floss threaders thing. I don't even know if you can, there we go. But um, so you can kind of put the floss through here and like thread it through your teeth. Like it's a very difficult process for me. Like I cannot follow instructions easily. My brother honestly was like, I never even used to do this, but I still tried like the first few days and then I failed. But yeah, it's probably good to do it every once in a while at least. They tell you to floss every day. That's all that they gave me from the bag and I just like threw everything in the bag all over the place so that's good. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for my braces experience. If you guys have any questions that I did not answer in this video, I'd love to answer them in the comments below. Or you can also shoot me an email at lifeandbeautybyjulia at gmail.com. It's the exact same way I spelled on my channel. Um, just at gmail.com. Or you can private message me on YouTube however you want to get a question to me. I will be sure to get back to you on that. I'm trying to think if there's any like 
useful information that I left out. And I'm like so excited. I'd be so excited to show you like getting my braces off experience. I should do a vlog like that. I did want to mention a few things before I completely end the video. Like I said in the past 10,000 videos, I do want to come out with an update video soon. So I'm going to try to hold back things that I'm dying to just like talk about. But um, I do want to mention a few things. So my video schedule has been absolutely crazy lately and I'm really sorry about that. Um, tomorrow I'm leaving for a trip to go to Vermont and we're going to go skiing. Um, so... But this is really like the last trip, like big thing that's happening before summer. So these next few months, I'm just going to be able after the trip to just catch up on life. <laughs> um, not gonna lie, these first few months of the year have just been really busy and hectic and crazy and stressful and mm, just a lot has happened. So I'm really sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to get on more of a schedule with my videos. But thank you guys for sticking with me and just bearing with my busyness and craziness and potato lookingness. Yeah, I do really wanna work on growing my YouTube channel and just making my videos better and putting more time and effort into my videos and not just doing random hauls and vlogs and stuff here and there, so I am definitely going to be working on that, so. Also, another thing, um, be sure to leave me a comment below with, like, a question because I am going to do a Q&A video next. I think that would be a really great way to, um, get to know you, get to know me. Um, because I haven't done any of those really, like, personal videos yet. So ask me a question. It can be about beauty. It can be about life. It can be about me. Whatever you guys want. And I will, um, pick a bunch of them to answer in a Q&A video very soon. That is long overdue because I did this for Christmas, which is now just happening. So yeah, my camera's dying, so I'm gonna go, guys. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos coming from me. So yeah, be sure to do that. Alright, guys, I love you so much, and thank you, thank you, thank you for watching and sticking with me. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them below. Now I'm babbling and bab babbling. Now I'm just going on about stuff I talked. Alright. <laughs> Bye guys. You go, Glenn, go, go. You go. All right. Yeah, I gotta go. All right.